Islam is love. Are you there? Are you there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm here. So I'm asking I'm thinking you, like, uh, if shaitan is misled by Allah, misled and misguided, in fact, the word ghuwaya mean, you know, he caused him to be a very evil, cause him. Here's the reason for it. I'm just so showing, you all, I'm showing you all the translation. I'm showing you all the possible translation Muslims have. In fact, all of them, they are lying. But still, I will show you as many as I can. So you can see and witness with your own eyes that according to Islam, look at this one. Shaitan, he said, Iblis, he said, now for thee, pervert in me. <laughs> Who makes Shaitan pervert? Allah. But here, okay, I have a question in Christianity. Who controls Satan? Satan, he is. A, he have a free will. It's not. It's not controlled. No, to all of us. And the the Bible says the sun will rise upon the evil and the good. And then the day of judgment sure. will come. So Satan is not the one working for God. However, in your religion, Satan work for God. So if you go. Actually, the same chapter, if we read the same chapter, you will see here. Okay, I Allah, have another question. I, 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 I understand, like uh, Islamic theology, so in Christian theology, who, uh, so uh, is God dominion over everything, including Satan, or is it, is he? When we not say, when really we not? say God of control, which means nothing can go out of, of God control, but still we have a free uh, will. Every one of us, including Satan, Satan, remember, was an angel. God did not create Satan. Correct? In Christianity, God... Yeah, but not... God knew that he will turn. No, 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 no. This, right. is, not about, this, not, this, is, not, this is not about you. You know, this is not, not to go to new. Uh, uh, God, he created angel. Angel, he decided to disobey. That means there's a free will. Otherwise, God can destroy Satan immediately and the, the problem is over, you know? But... There is a free will, and that's why there is a day of judgment, and then everyone, he goes where he belongs. But in the Quran, it says the following, in chapter 15, verse number 39. Shaitan, he worship Allah, and he is obedient to Allah, and he do the command of Allah, and the proof in front of you. Satan respond, said, oh my God. I'll hit you, 39, hold on, give me one more. I'm not sharing the screen on YouTube. Sorry, guys. Okay, let me do it. Give me a second. All right, now you will see it. Give me a minute. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm reading the uh, content. All right. So who is the one who worship Allah? Shaitan. Who is the one who obey Allah? Shaitan. In fact, here, Allah and Shaitan, they made an agreement. Shaitan, he obey Allah, call him, oh, my God. Because you deceive me, not for I mean, Allah. If you, yeah, or, if you read the context, like the previous verses, it says that God, like it, it's kind of like a challenge. As God uh, allowed him to, to like he, he, God could have destroyed him on the moment, but he actually allowed him to because he was gonna go astray anyway. So God allowed him. No, to no, 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 he is, no, no, he is not he going. Just read the, the no, 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 you see, yeah, yeah, I, I read the verses, my friend, the verse is so clear. The verse, the Muslim translation is absolutely false. And this is why I feel sorry for you because you are reading translation, which is false. And this is why you come with your, your, your weird con conclusion. First of all, you will see the deception of Allah in the chapter. Allah, he, create, he told the angels, I will create someone, a man, from mud. The angels, they say to him, are you going to create someone who will do mischief in earth? <laughs> Allah, he commanded the angels to bow down to Adam. But then, shaitan did not bow down. But the shaitan is not one of the angels. And this is how Allah deceived shaitan. He gave command to the angels, then he get angry from shaitan. So Allah is not even fair. He did not say, angels and uh, uh, shaitan, he have nothing to do with the conversation. The angels is the one who uh, accuse Adam of doing mischief. Man. 
So why Allah is commanding shaitan to bow down to Adam? Is he the one who accused him of anything? No. Shaitan is out of the conversation. Correct? So what the story goes is that he was an angel, but after he disobeyed God. He was what? <laughs> he was an angel. In your religion, shaitan yeah. was an angel? I mean, because God is as the angels, right? No, no, no. So I'm asking you, in your religion, in your religion, shaitan was an angel? Yes. That's false. Shaitan is made of genie. He's a genie, and he is made of fire. Here, if you read, you see, this is why I feel sorry for the Muslims. They don't know their religion. So, and we say to the angels, bow down to Adam. They bow down, except Iblis, he refused, and he was, you know, one of the kuffar. But how kuffar? He did not do anything. He, he said to the angels, he's not an angel. And then in the same time, in different verse, you will see this. Let me show a different verse. Because the Quran is a very stupid book, and the story is all over the place. Chapter 15, verse number 29, and chapter 38, verse number 72. And this is the funny about the Quran. You cannot find a story of one person in, in one place. Uh... So here, when when uh, when Allah supposedly uh, talking about the creation, you will notice here it says that and the jinn created before of a fire flaming. Jinn is from fire. Angels are created from light. They are not the same. Shaitan is a genie. So Iblis he refused to bow down, uh, you know, uh, and the, Allah he asked him. Why you don't bow down to uh, hey, Iblis? Why you don't bow down to Adam? He said, I would never bow myself before a moral whom thou hast created of a clay, of mud molded. And then Allah curse him. So, why Allah want to, you know, curse him for refusing to worship a man or to bow down to a man? And especially, he did nothing wrong. Iblis, he did not accuse Adam of anything. He is one of the jinn. He is not one of the angels. And then Allah is asking him why you don't bow down. But he did not even command him to bow down. He said, angels bow down. If I go right now and search, just to show you what you Muslims believe, all the fictions you have. So, if we search right now, uh, sex with genie. We will find tons of Muslim websites speaking about sex. Uh, 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 Muslims believing that genie can have sex with them. And they explain even how it's done. So if we open this website, let's show you here. <clears throat> Why they believe in this? Because simply, it is very Islamic. I am married for 24 years. My marriage has been uh, one of that I can be happy about. My argument about uh, 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 argument have uh, filled my marriage about four years ago my wife started changing I have noted that she would be sexually aroused I have not seen before which I have not seen before in her sleep and when I am uh, I awake her she is angry with me I need your help since my marriage heading for divorce she thinks I am a crazy when I discuss this with her, answer. No cheese. Okay, hold on. But let's go to the to the cheese of the topic. It says here. He is giving you the res the the reference. The truth is that it is possible for a human being, and jinn to have intercourse. A Thalabi mentioned in his tafsir that that meaning. Uh, 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 be O Iblis, partner with their human being. This is the chapter on the Quran. In worth in their children. So the Quran says that Iblis, Shaitan, he can partner with Muslims in their children and in their worth. How? By having intercourse with Muslim women. And then here it says, and this is Tafsir, and this is the reference, uh, 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 Ibn Jarir, Al Tabari, etc. Tafsir Al Tabari. Then narrated from Mujahid, he said, when a man has intercourse with his wife, and does not name, this is Muhammad by the way talking, and does not name Allah. The jinn coils around his or, uh, orta, uh, 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 orthra, 
and has intercourse along with him and that is meaning of his saying the most high Allah said who am ever a man nor a genie touched before them so those women who they are in heaven Allah promised you that genies did not do intercourse with them yet because when my genie uh, they have intercourse with Muslim women everywhere especially when they are asleep as the guy he mentioned is in his uh, in his uh, question and uh, now he's trying to explain to him that your wife obviously she is having intercourse with a very nice genie who is good in bed uh, and then here they are quoting for you Ibn Abbas uh, he mentioned etc uh, they are the sons the the muhannathun the the feminine they are the sons of jinn Allah and his messenger forbid that a man who uh, have intercourse with his wife during her menses when he does shaitan is there before him and then when she get a breath net will give birth to a feminine person you know funny stories as you see but all the the the, the, the those stories here is about having sex with genies you know having sex with a human being muslim having sex with genie so you muslims believe that genie is a physical being no i don't have to believe you have to believe it's not up to you the quran says so i mean this what you just posted of course is completely stupid idiotic but this is but this is the quran the quran says sorry my friend even your prophet said that what he quote for you here about shaitan he around himself around the penis this is what your prophet said you can search right now this is your prophet saying that if you don't say a certain prayer shaitan he will share you with you your wife i remember once actually a muslim guy it was a muslim sheikh he came to a chart room christian chart room uh, he is very filthy you know he have a long tongue and he come he take the mic each time he take the mic he says christian uh, people you are the children of shaitan now those christians do not know what he's talking about he thought just insulting but the fact he was mentioning this so the admin in that chat room he said uh, christian can can you please talk to this guy i don't know what to say to him i mean each time he go and you know, i'm just sitting i'm just laughing so uh, he said he i beg you please just take the microphone do, just do because he's annoying so i took the microphone and i said to him are you sure this hadith is very authentic he said absolutely absolutely i said you swear by allah are you sure absolutely i asked him for a third time the guy he said to me what's wrong with you i said just to you absolutely i'm very sure i said to him based on this as long shaitan will do intercourse with the wife of somebody he is not a believer who don't pray to allah that means your prophet himself is a son of shaitan because neither his mother or her father they were muslims or believers and he starts crying on the microphone cursing me may allah kill you may allah destroy you you have a smart like shaitan but evil in your heart may allah make a train go over you he was start he started crying literally because he'd been destroyed he never said that statement again to those christians never mentioned it this is how stupid muhammad is when muhammad he mentioned this that when you have intercourse with your wife if you don't say the prayer shaitan he round himself around your the penis of the muslim man did muhammad forget that he himself is a son of a pagan father and pagan mother how stupid muhammad is if you yourself yeah what do you understand my friend what i'm saying to you well like i said uh, this of course the story sounds ridiculous that like oh you know um for to, well, to but make this is what, pregnant but this is what your uh, prophet said you see they are giving you reference there i mean do you see the reference the tafsir the etc the quran this is not a joke and this is why we love at muhammad this is why we reject muhammad muhammad is, is a very stupid person he's just insulting himself by saying this statement he himself is a son of shaitan because the one yeah, who don't say I mean, the prayer of course yeah the one who don't say the prayer before intercourse of his shaitan, he round himself around the man penis. So now he become like a condom. <laughs> and why is shaitan want to do that? I mean, this is just a silly, stupid thing. I mean, what the heck is that? And how shaitan is going to make the baby his baby now? Like he, he would have yeah, orgasm? Stupid. Yeah, but this is your religion. And, what's, uh, and what, uh, what did the woman do to deserve this? 
have a exactly a not not idea. only not only that i mean there's tons of stories like a guy he opened the door he found his wife uh, vagina is catching in fire the sheikh he told him obviously she is having sex with genie i mean how why the pubic area of a muslim woman is catching in fire <laughs> uh, why it's a genie because the genie is made of fire brother the genie is made of fire so when he have intercourse with her, he make a spark, and her pubic area is so dry, so she catch in fire. Other Abdul he says when I open the door to my if, if you read this website they will you will, will die laughing. He opened the door he saw his wife touching herself, and instead of saying the, the idiot you know he's being an idiot he's not doing his job so his wife is horny, so she is masturbating obviously, instead of understanding that he should do something you know. <laughs> He think that genie is doing that to her. And the Sheikh, he confirmed. He says, brother, you need to read Quran, chapter Al-Kursi, upside down, and, uh, you know, burn uh, Bakhur, you know, those things, you burn it, like what they call it in English, I forgot. So, uh, uh, all of this, instead of saying to him, you know, obviously your wife is horny, sleep with her. Yeah, he needed Viagra instead. <laughs> so, you see, this is why I say to you, uh, you know, if you are looking for a truth, this is a this is a silly, stupid religion. And if Muhammad is the one who said those things, I mean, who in the world can cover up for Muhammad now? Can you? I mean, uh, I, I, I don't normally go to the, to uh, hadiths because of these stories. But this is the Quran so, too. You see, the Quran says "Sharikuhum." What's the words? The Quran. Seventeen sixty-four. Yeah, uh, uh, you can read the Tafsir. Seventeen sixty-four. You can read Tafsir twenty-two, uh, two forty-eight. They are giving you the reference. Okay, okay, I will uh, read it, and you can take the next caller. I gotta read about this. Uh, to be fairly honest, I didn't know much about the uh, jinns and. You know what they do the gym first, first of all the demons first of all the idea of a genie you know uh, is obviously stolen from the Persian uh, the there's legions about genies in many uh, all the stories before Islam uh, like as an example the store the stories of uh, 1000 night and night those stories are there's no author for them those stories are exist the people they uh, they tell them for generations to generations and then somebody one day collect them in a book but uh, but those are stories about genie in the ball flying carpet uh, all of those you find them in the Quran and all so of you're them you're trying to tell me are you trying to tell me that basically Prophet Muhammad collected stories like fiction stories and made it into Quran that's what you're trying to say I'm not saying that the Quran can say that. Read carefully with me. Isn't it? This is what the Arab they keep saying to Muhammad. The Arab, the first thing they notice that th this guy is telling us the stories we know, the legions, and they say clearly asatir. Asatir in Arabic mean the legions and the fairy tales. And look how many times. Chapter six, verse number twenty-five. Chapter eight, verse number thirty-two. Chapter sixteen, verse number twenty-four. Chapter twenty-three, verse number eighty-three. Chapter 25, verse number 5. Chapter 27, verse 68. Chapter 46, verse number 17. And you will notice here, they say, that we know that the story is, this is a story we learn from our, our you know, ancestors, our fathers. We grew up with those stories. We heard them before. Those are fairy tales. Fairy tales. Can you read chapter 27 as an example? <coughs> What does it say? Unnamal. Indeed, we were promised this, and we and our forefathers before early days, nothing but tales of ancients. See? Everything he said to them, they heard it before. It's just a stupid stories. And the Arab did not believe in this garbage. But the sword of the gang of Muhammad, everybody believe who they, who they are to question. No? But as you see, they keep laughing at it. What is this? This is uh, fairy tales. Flying carpet of Suleiman, the flying horse of Suleiman, the ring of Solomon, the penis of Solomon, uh, 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 
uh, the talking ant. You know, if you go right now, search the book. It's called the Legion of the Jews. The Legions of the Jews. I know. I I, I read it. I mean, uh, like uh, the story of uh, Alexander the Great. Actually, it matches with with. So, but, but that's the. It's okay. Let's let, let's say, you know, these are fairy tales and so like you say. Why? How come? Islam promotes certain, you know, like the family values and stuff better than other religions. My friend, you are absolutely demolishing yourself by saying that. I remember when I was a kid, I went to visit a kid in my age. He's a Muslim. He come to my house. I go to his house. Once I was playing with him in his house and he said the effort to his brother, I said to him, you stupid. He said the F word to his mom. I said, why you say that to your mom, you stupid? Isn't, isn't your brother? He said, yeah, but he's from different mother. Is that the family value? Melty wives, the women, they hate each other. They teach hate against between the kids. The father die one day. The kids kill each other for the sake of money. Literally, they kill, they shoot each other. This is Islamic community. A man, he lied to the wife, he's allowed. The wife lying to her husband, it's allowed. And you are telling me this is a family value? A man, he married a child. A child became a victim of a man. And you are telling me this is a family value? What is the family value? Yeah, in my, in like uh, the communities here in the U.S. The, my uh, friend, Muslims any, commu the any community in the world is 1,000. Even a community of gays is better than Muslims. Don't fool yourself. I assure you that a gay is more honest than any Muslim sheikh. Even those, oh, even yeah, those, yeah. my friend, even those who fornicate with each other, they will get so upset if one of them, he lied to each other. In Islam, you are allowed to lie to your wife. How that work? How that is a value? How that will make a better family? In Islam, you can beat your wife. How that will make a better wife and better husband? What about your son? He watched you beating your wife. Is that is that what uh, what what the family is about? How the son he see his mother she is being beaten by his father. What the impact of that? What the but impact? Want, what uh, the impact of the you daughter? You want your wife, huh? But but women usually like dominant men. So my friend, you know, this is absolutely false. This is absolutely false. Being dominant is about being a man, not being being a donkey. Dominant man is uh, my dad. He never beat my beat, beat my, my my mother. Never. Well, my dad didn't beat any my mom or anybody in my family ever beat. Their okay, wife. but you said no. women they liked. So did, did your mom? She asked you beat me, so I can respect you. Is that no, what you're no, saying? No, I'm not, I'm not talking. About, I'm I'm not talking about beating. My I'm saying being dominant, being like no being being, man of the being family, dominant. Care of this your is f a secondly. The idea of being dominant is a very silly and very stupid, and I will tell you why. Because respect is something you earn, is not something you force. Because if I force somebody to respect me, obviously he don't respect me. Obviously, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not talking about beating no, or dominant, dominant, um, dom harassing. Yeah, but, you know. but you see, but you are the one who mentioned it when we spoke about beating. You did not mention it usually. You did not mention the word. And then I said, the, 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 the Quran teaches you to beat your wife. So you connected the word beating the wife with the word dominate. It's you who did that, not me. So a man... I, I said it after uh, you mentioned no, it. Like, uh, a man... What I was trying, because you were talking about gays being better than Muslim men. For sure they are better. One million... They, they, first of all, Islam promotes homosexuality in heaven. So why you are, why you are better in any way? Same time, what is the penalty in Islam for somebody who is a homosexual? The Quran says, beat them with sandals. If they repent, forgive them. But the punishment for fornication in Islam is beating them 80 lashes. So how somebody fornicate with the women, we, be, we whip his back 80 times or 100 times. And then somebody, he's a man sleeping with the man and we beat them with sandals. How does that work? What is exactly the religion we're talking about? So based on this, the one uh, who is doing homosexual act is not doing an uh, ugly stuff as someone having sex with the women. Otherwise, 
there is no way, you know, uh, this God will come with such a thing. The punishment should be severe for the for the severe crime. Not the opposite. You understand? Yeah, I understand. I mean, yeah, I, I would. No, I'm not saying beating your wife is no, I'm actually, it's actually. No, no, I, I, let, 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 focus with I me. Man who, focus with me. I, I, the, I think, focus yeah. with me in the homosexuality. If your God. I, I don't. I don't really. I don't really. To be fairly honest, I personally do not really see it as wrong. I, I, I see people born as homosexuals. They have the right to do what they want. Well, I, I, us, for me, I don't agree with that. I mean, you see, you are a Muslim and Islam is destroying you because simply it's not about right. Uh, I, I can say the same for anything you know in life. Then I can have the right for fornication too. I can have the right to, uh, to do anything, you know. Uh, so either yeah, you, you are have right, but no, no, no. You see, either you are a person who believe in God and you believe that right and wrong is based on what God said to you, not what you decide as you wish, not as a point of a view. But, but let, let, let me let me say complete it. Like if if people are doing it in their house, there shouldn't be over. Like if they're not showing you, if they're not putting on your face what they do behind their doors. It's I, not, it's like I understand, God, I understand, but we are talking about uh, God teaching now, not your personal opinion. Same time, well, you say it, like being, same, same being, time, same yeah, time, same time, yeah, uh, a homosexual is way better than any Muslim. They have a better ethic, I believe. They are more decent. They are not taught to do taqiyya, like Muslims they do. Muslims they do taqiyya, it's part of their religion. You ask him a question about Islam, he answer anything except the correct and the uh, honest answer. So you might find a gay, you speak to him, he tell you the truth, he don't lie to you. He's a gay. So one, which, who, which one of you is better? You, you, you claim that you are better than them, you are not. Well, but in, in Christianity, punishment for gay is death, right? But for The punishment, death, yes, the punishment in the Bible is death. But the question here, the question I'm asking you, how come if somebody did fornicate with the women, she is not married, the punishment is way more severe from someone is fornication with a man, man fornicating with a man. Why? What is the reason? Yeah, because even they want the women to be more aware of their sexuality, not, not, and that uh, honestly, I don't know. I'm just saying my opinion, but in Islam, I don't know why. I will tell you why, because Muhammad himself is a homosexual and Muhammad himself, he was trying his best to make it like a light punishment and then when the Jews and the people around him, they start wondering what kind of a person he is, uh, uh, always there is a homosexual. If you read my book, Sex on Allah, you will find all the reference that all Muhammad family, none of the reference I give in my book is from my own. All of it is Islamic sources. All of it. His own killer, Omar, everybody. The whole town. Those Arab, they were obsessed with homosexuality. And this is why Muhammad, he did not go in a in a like an aggressive way because simply the whole his the whole community are homosexual. All right, you can take your next guess. I'm gonna eat my liver. I mean, not my liver. Beef liver is cooked. Yeah. I'll be back. I'll just, I'll, I'll just listen to the, the stream. Yeah. All right. All right, my friend. All right. All right. Well, I'll uh, see you then next time. All right.